I think the coming year is going to be very instrumental in the history of blockchain or distributed ledger technology deployments. The work that has gone on in the last three or four years is now coming to fruition in terms of uh, actual implementation uh, and that's what you should be looking for during the course of uh, the next year. Looking around at the, the event today, I've seen a number of uh, products and ideas uh, that were new to me and I spend my entire uh, time in and around this space. So I'm sure if that was valuable for someone like me, it will be equally valuable to many others. And I think the thing that I appreciate the most is that this is across multiple different industries. The presentation I did today was with Simon Taylor. He and I had a conversation about you know, the reality of uh, distributed ledger technology. Uh, what are the impediments to its adoption? How to distinguish between hype and reality? What's a good use case uh, and not a good use case? And where are the areas to watch in the year to come? Basically, two big benefits. One is it helps tackle the siloization of data. Siloed data uh, stymies innovation. Uh, it, it's error prone, it leads to unnecessary duplication, billions of dollars spent on reconciliation. And to enable, uh, for the first time, secure, confidential sharing of a golden common source, a shared and replicated source of data, has therefore huge efficiency opportunities. The second thing is then uh, what you can do once you have that uh, near real time source of data uh, that is synchronized, agreed upon, uh, and can be relied upon. And that is a, a whole array of new uh, products and services that can be built on top of uh, those data sets, uh, which create the opportunity for uh, the kind of web-paced innovation that we've seen uh, in the tech sector for the last 10 years, but which has been woefully absent in enterprise technology. I very much hope to be back next year. If uh, this year's event is anything to go by, it's a great use of time.